Hello everyone, great to have you here and thank you for becoming a regular viewer. I cherish you so much. Have you heard of Mpese Mpese? Yeah, you may call it raster or dreads or dreadlocks and I, Lady J, would like to call it Mpese Mpese. Mpese Mpese has become a hairstyle of the younger generation around the world. In the 90s, many celebrities, artists, and entertainers wore dreadlocks, helped to popularize these hairstyles and made them more mainstream in Ghana. A few artists that come to mind are Brand Papa Reggie Rockstone, Kodrenchi, Berima Sydney, Obrafo, Okonfo Kwade, Exdo, Rocky Dawuni, Shasha Mali, Yogi Doggy, Sony Bali, Mensa, One Love the Kubala, Ronnie Coaches, and Prince Bright. Who among these celebrities wore it nicer? Over the last decades, Obuo, Tiny, Samini, Shatawali, Stone Boy, Raskuku, Kwaukese, King Agisoba, Mugis, Adam, Guru, Ebony, Strongman, Papi Kojo, Amarado Burner, Las Mead, Famille, Fancy Gadam, Wiala and many other artists more have worn dreadlocks in style. Each of these artists likely had a unique take on the hairstyle that resonated with their fans. Let's get interactive. I want to read your comments on why these artists wear dreads. Indeed, dreadlocks have been a popular hairstyle among many international celebrities in the music and entertainment industry. Each of the celebrities you know has their unique style and way of wearing dreadlocks. When it comes to dreads and braids, a few international artists that come to mind are Snoop Lion. Jay-Z, Lil Wayne, Lil John, T-Pain, Ace Hood, Wiz Khalifa, J. Cole, P-Square, Burner Boy and many more. These celebrities have incorporated colorful beads, braids, or other accessories into their dreadlocks. Some artists have chosen a more natural and simpler look. It's important to note that dreadlocks can vary in size length, 
and overall appearance so what one person finds appealing might differ from another's preference ultimately the way these celebrities wear their dreadlocks is a reflection of their personal style and artistic expression and it often becomes a signature part of the image in the entertainment world what do you know about the origin of dreads known as mpese mpese among the akans in ghana it's known that earlier finnish priests known as akonfo wore dreadlocks it's traditionally believed that the dreadlocks symbolize nature power and the sacred one since it was uncommon to see folks in the community with dreadlocks in the olden days the dress and hairstyle of the okonfo or fetish priest make him or her super unique and the symbol of spirituality this hairstyle represented a connection with the divine and with the spirit realm and was often a symbol of strength and integrity for warriors and chiefs in ghana to date they are seen to possess supernatural powers and can communicate with unseen spirits. Clad in white or red cloth, these fetish priests are seen only on special occasions in the community and can be always found in the sanctuary or shrine. It's common knowledge that the Akans and many tribes in Ghana are known to have some children born with knotted hair or locks. One popular priest who is known to have worn dreads is Okonfo Anoche. A powerful priest known for his participation in the expansion of the Ashanti Empire. But do dreads appeal to you and do you want to try it? Ah well, different people may have different opinions on this matter. It's a matter of personal preference when it comes to which hairstyle is nicer as beauty and style are subjective. Ultimately, it's all about individual taste and what appeals to you personally. Some people will be comfortable with long dreadlocks while others may view them as low life, given weird stares, and assume they have drug connections. People with dreads may face insults or subliminal disrespect from friends, making it harder to find a partner who accepts them for who they are physically. Does dread hair have a long history in Africa? Some of the earliest known possible depictions of dreadlocks date back as far as 1500 to 1600 BC in the Minoan civilization centered in Crete, now part of Greece. Frescoes discovered on the Aegean island of Thera, modern Santorini, Greece depict individuals with long braided hair or long dreadlocks. However, the dreadlocks hairstyle originated in Africa and was worn by various tribes. Victoria Chereau, the author of the Encyclopedia of Hair, a Cultural History One, named the priests of the Ethiopian Coptic Orthodox Church as some of the first people to have sported dreadlocks in Africa as early as 500 BC. Oh yeah! In many parts of Africa, locks are associated with strength and are only worn by warriors. Many of the warriors of this tribe wore this hairstyle. 
The earliest tribe with this locked hairstyle can be attributed to warriors of the Fula and Wolof people of West Africa, the Maasai and Kikuyu tribesmen of Kenya. Henry Kissinger while addressing a group of Washington, D.C. businessmen in 1954 described the Kikuyu tribesmen as anarchic and difficult to tame. In pre-Columbian America, Oceania and Africa, dreadlocks were used as a social and cultural symbol often associated with shamanism. You may want to be told whether dreadlocks are associated with Jamaica and Rastas. Rastas emphasize what they regard as living naturally, adhering to idle dietary requirements, wearing their hair in dreadlocks, and following patriarchal gender roles. There is a school of thought that says Rastafari originated among impoverished and socially disenfranchised Afro-Jamaican communities in 1930s Jamaica. Some historians suggest that dreadlock was a means of defiance for ex-slaves to rebel against Eurocentrism that was forced on them. The hairstyle was originally referred to as a dreadful hairstyle by the Eurocentric Jamaican society. It later evolved to the term now used dreadlocks. Jamaicans also used the term natty dreadlock. Rastafarians were persecuted in Jamaica and many were arrested and intimidated by having their hair forcefully cut off. Many early Rastafarians moved to the bush and dreadlocks gained popularity as an anti-establishment symbol in Jamaica. According to the Rasta views, the locks are believed to be a part of the Nazarite vows of Leviticus, which cautioned against shaving the head's four corners. Locks also have connections to the Lion of Judah, which represents the power and strength of a person. Now, you know dreadlocks are not unique to Jamaica and Rastafarians. While dreadlocks are often associated with Jamaica and Rastafarian culture due to the prominence of this hairstyle within the Rastafarian movement and its most famous advocate, Bob Marley, it's important to note that various cultures around the world have worn dreadlocks for centuries. Dreadlocks or similar types of matted or knotted hair have been seen in different societies and among different religious and cultural groups throughout history. They are not limited to any one country or religion. People from Africa, Asia, the Americas, and other regions have worn dreadlocks for various reasons, including cultural, religious, and personal choices. So, while Jamaica and the Rastafarian movement may have contributed significantly to the global recognition of dreadlocks, the hairstyle itself has a rich and diverse history that extends far beyond any one specific culture or group. You may want to ask, can you be Rasta without dreads? Although it is possible to be a clean-faced, bald-haired Rasta, most Rastafarians follow the Nazareth in that they do not use combs or razors, hence beards and dreadlocks, and do not practice any sort of body piercing or tattooing. Nonetheless, it is on record that Bob Marley once said, you can be Rasta without dreads because Rasta 
is in the heart. Moreover, it's worth noting that the former Ethiopian emperor and the iconic figure of the Rastafarian movement, His Imperial Majesty Haile Selassie I, did not wear dreads. Instead, he had matted hair. Jal Rastafari let me also inform Ghana's youth that the CEO of Pigeon Music, Panji Anaf, who is also recognized for pioneering hip-hop in Ghana in the early 1990s, has a matted hairstyle. Mpese mpese, achisa. Mpese mpese, pa pa pa. Mpese mpese, bim. Mpese mpese, miensa miensa ne bako. Mpese mpese, mina mekaye, maka maka. Catch you soon on the next episodes and remember to subscribe and hit the notification bell for more videos. See you next time.